Excellent. Welcome. This May 21st, 2024, it is 8.16 a.m. We're going to update the scorecard again. Um, we've got everyone back in good program standing. We did take a win away from Riverside. Uh, that was marked one prematurely and um, had some issues with scheduling. And so they actually didn't get cleaned and um, or they didn't get service. So we took the win away. Uh, we still need no, uh, notes in there um, to void the invoice because that triggered a finder's fee and we need more than one sentence of notes to explain why you lost an opportunity. So one sentence is absolutely not enough to explain why you lost someone when we are the ones investing in your company. So we can't, <laughs> we can't take that lightly. Like if we're signing up fine or signing up recurring clients and then we're losing them we got to know why we lost them so that we can improve going forward notes everyone everyone knows that notes are absolutely critical so please leave them um all right 90 days ago from today is february 21st all right i'm gonna pull up custom aids here their nurturely plus account and we will get rocking with this straight away so in the last 90 days, Custom Maids has received 303 leads. They've delivered 141 estimates and 194. So we go down a touch. It's only like 50 or 60 ACQ points. That's okay. But we need someone to come in and make that up because otherwise our program averages are going to be negative. And I need other members other than just Custom Maids helping to prop up that. Um, average as well. I believe only Dayton and Las Vegas are the two that are above the averages. So we need to see the others um, continuing to push forward and, and getting those ACQ points under their belt as well. Um, so Dayton, we're at 368 leads, 120, 28. Okay, then. So 368, 120, 28. Whoa, that's not what I meant to do. All right, so that helps a little bit, not a ton, but it helps. Well, actually, I kind of I got it all back. We're gonna find out. I'm not gonna speculate on that until, until the end. Um, okay, Las Vegas, we've got 263 leads, 122 and 11. So Oliver, I am not sure. Um what's going on but this about this time last month i was the one that went in and marked your opportunities as one and so uh, at that point you hadn't done it in a month so now we're two months since your last marked win i could probably look it up when i got the last notifications and um see when that was my search So they were on April 30th is when I did four of them for you, but you haven't marked one one in since March 8th. Um, ACQ is still fine, um, but if you've noticed fewer leads, um, it's because we see something that we don't like. Um, you're, everything is okay. You're still getting leads, but we are going to slow it down because if you're not going to be gung-ho on, on getting these wins, we're not going to be gung-ho on getting leads. We're going to keep it safe and make sure that we don't go unprofitable on your account, um, on your membership, I should say. Uh, so March 8th, it's now May 21st. It's a month and a half since you've marked anything one or two. March, April. Yeah, two and a half months. And so we need to see that activity so that we can keep pushing forward. You're, you're delivering your estimates and that's absolutely wonderful. That's the first, that's like the first domino that has to fall before you get a win anyway. So fill those up. You're, you're you know, third in terms of getting estimates to um, new leads. 46% is no freaking joke. Like Riverside, 
Bay City and Vegas, you're all at 46, 47, 50%. The next closest is 33. So you three are like a top top tier at getting estimates delivered. It just so happens that two or two of the three of you are the absolute worst at converting them into clients. Whereas custom maids still holds that top spot. They are the second best at getting estimates delivered. And then after that point, they are far and away the best at getting the, those clients um, brought across the finish line as uh, paying clients. So Riverside and Las Vegas, you're at single digits in terms of converting your estimates, not just your leads. So anyone that you deliver an estimate to, you're only at single digits. Your conversion rates are, are, are suffering here as well. And that will put you at seventh and eighth, second to last and last place out of everyone. Um, again, I must make it extraordinarily clear that ACQ is the primary driver, the main governing metric. That doesn't mean we aren't going to continue to push you. It just means that your membership is safe. So when we see an ACQ score of Las Vegas go from like 1300 down to a thousand, it's not, it's cause for concern, but we're not worried. We're not at all worried at this point. I mean, they're in the 1K club. We're absolutely not worried. But the name of this game is getting ACQ points by way of winning clients. So we are going to con continue to push and push and push because here at the RCF on this side of things, we are making certain that this ACQ score is going up every single day, just like this RCF score. The RCF score is our ability to generate an opportunity. The ACQ score is your ability to close that opportunity into a new client. Both of these need to go up every single day. And if the ACQ isn't going up, that means our members are not delivering estimates and they're not winning clients. If our RCF average is going, if that's not going up, we're not getting leads efficiently enough for our members. So we both have these numbers that we need to watch and make sure that they just increase. We need to keep going forward. That's that's the main reason why I watch those averages every single day so that I can get a bigger picture of all of you as, as, as one unit. Like, how are we all doing? Um, if we start taking steps back, then I go in here and say, okay, well, who drop, who's dropped in the past week? And then we dig deeper into why that drop is happening. There's only seven of you right now. It's very, very easy for me to identify that but this is all built so that when we do have a hundred or more members, it's, it's totally scalable. Um, so we've got Orlando now pulled up Reagan Campbell. Last 90 days, we've gotten 258 leads. We've delivered 65 and 119. Okay, 258, 65. So we're going, oh, you are one estimate away from being in the 1K club, I'm pretty sure. Indeed. All right. <laughs> it's like I'm beaming with pride with that one, with that account. Excellent work, Team Orlando, Reagan, Cameron. You guys continuously crush it. All right. Riverside, Daniel Cook, Beauty Clean. There's a Beauty Clean Maid Service, I think is what they, what they are. He's calling Beauty Clean. 137, 68 and 5. We are sinking there. Daniel, you haven't done anything in your account. I understand you have. Um, some per personal issues going on. Uh, nevertheless, we cannot let that ACQ uh, dip terribly too much more. Um, Tiffany Pierce here in Grand Rapids. Today we've got you at 113, 35 and six. That's probably gonna help it a touch. No, not really, okay. Indianapolis will be the last one here. Mount Airy is on pause until about August. Eighty-three, twenty-one and four. When was the last time they got some leads? May twentieth. Oh, I did add it. That's why. Okay, cool. Let's check the pipeline. <clears throat> well, I don't believe there's anyone to change there. Let's see how these averages did now. I know it's a lot of numbers you're seeing on the screen. I will have a better way to do this eventually. Today is just not that day. 
All right. And we're down quite a bit. This is the third down day in a row across all three. Kind of had a feeling of that. Um, today is a bigger drop than yesterday, and I'm not loving it. Um, fewer opportunities. The effort. Oh, my word. Oh. <laughs> this is because... Okay, right here, it must have changed. I added in some new metrics here, so it dropped 30%, but it didn't really. 4.4 to 4.6, I've got to change that. There was a reporting error and these are not right. Dang it, now I gotta have, it's gonna now have that. Let's do it like this, 3.1, 3.0, nope. I gotta just do this separately. Anyway, 9.45, I wanna get to a thousand average, so bad. Okay, so if we're at 9.45, let me come back here. Orlando is above the average. Okay, so Riverside, Grand Rapids, Indianapolis, Mount Airy. I know you're out until August. Um, these three, we need to focus on, uh, on, you know, more ACQ points, get estimates delivered. Indianapolis, one out of four of every opportunity. So go through, call them again, and just get a price to them. If they receive a custom quote, then drop them in estimate delivered and you get points there. Um, the idea is that first domino falls and then it is, you're building a pool of really warm leads and that um, when you have a VA or you're, you have a time block to call on your leads, you're going to call those leads. You don't sit here and say, well, who am I going to call? You go call the people that you've already given prices to, but they haven't closed yet. When you run out of those, you go to your needs follow-up stage. When you run out of those, call all of your call attempts one through five again. Um, so the pipeline is literally loaded with sales opportunities. And if you're not calling on people every day and your ACQ is negative or subpar, that's why. There's a ton of opportunities sitting in your CRMs, not only your neutrally plus, but also the ones that you use outside of the RCF. Um, CRMs are an absolute gold mine. So that is today, um, 828. We're finishing up here, May 21st, 2024. Hope you have a great rest of your week. It is Tuesday here, so we're still just getting started. Um, but anyway, I hope it's a great one.